July 16, 1945, the United States tests the world's first atomic bomb outside of Alamogordo, New Mexico. Soon, the military drops the weapon on Japan, and President Harry Truman tells the nation, The first atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima. We have used it in order to shorten the agony of war in order to save the lives of thousands and thousands of young Americans. The bomb's development was under the Manhattan Project. Michael Smith, the New Mexico Museum of Space History Registrar, says it started with a letter. The impetus was actually started by Albert Einstein in a letter, very famous letter to Franklin Roosevelt, our president at that time. And he stated that he believed unequivocally that the Nazis were well on the way to developing a bomb that had the capability of being true mass destruction. If we didn't do something in our country to start the research on that and development of it, that they would certainly get it and they would certainly use it on us without any hesitation. Einstein had clout and credibility and Roosevelt took him seriously. Yeah, it was actually almost like a personal letter. His words carried a lot of weight and a lot of meaning. It was Einstein that said, you know, We've really got to do this. The development process took several years. Well, a letter was written, I believe, in 1939. In New Mexico, a secret city was created for the work, Los Alamos. You couldn't get in there unless you were a scientist. It was totally restricted area in the early 40s. And there were a lot of people working there, and they came back and forth. You know, they'd fly to different places. Mike says the actual Trinity site construction began in 1944, and that was in part of the area we now know as White Sands Missile Range. The winter of 44, 45, and then continued on into 1945 before the test that summer. 